I live in the 2D civilization, where everything is just a line and I live on the two-dimensional plane. I can only go two directions, forward or backwards. I was born here and I have no idea why I'm in this world. Every day all I do is collect blocks because the realm leader comes and collects them at the end of every day. And hopefully one day once I collect enough blocks, I move on to the next world. I've been collecting blocks for hours and I think the realm leader is coming soon. You know the drill. Give me all of your blocks and items. You better have more than yesterday. Okay, here you go. Am I getting close to leveling up to the next civilization? You aren't even close to collecting enough blocks to get out of here. Ha ha. Be ready tomorrow if you don't have double the amount of blocks there will be consequences. And that's how it goes every day. They want more and more blocks every single time they come. I better get back to it. I'm getting really tired of this life and I will do anything to get out of here, even if it means escaping. I was roaming around breaking blocks as I usually do when I fell in this hole. Hello? Who are you? My name's Grace. I've been hiding here for years trying to escape this place. The reason we are in the 2D civilization is because the world is overpopulated. Putting people in two-dimensional lines takes up less space. The higher-ups are evil and get to live in the real world while we are stuck here. Follow me. There is something you should see. I have nothing better to do besides collect blocks, so I might as well follow this weird girl to see what she has to show me. What is this place? We've been running for hours. This is the edge. The 2D civilizations are man-made. That's why we have to collect blocks all day so the higher-ups can build more 2D civilizations. This is absolutely insane. Do you have a plan to escape this place? Yes, go to these coordinates, grab the weapon, and when they come to collect blocks, you need to attack. I am too weak to fight them, so you will have to. I really hope this girl's not lying to me. These are the coordinates she told me, but I didn't see anything, so I decided to dig down. She wasn't lying. There was a chest with a diamond sword in it. When the higher-ups come to collect blocks, they break through the border somehow. So when they come tomorrow and they break the blocks, that's going to be my chance to strike. I've never fought anyone before, so I'm pretty nervous. But I will literally do anything to escape this place, especially after what that girl told me. Here they come. This is my only chance. If I mess this up, I don't even want to know what the punishment will be. I need to remember where he breaks the hole in the wall because it's invisible and I might lose it. You know the drill, Brokey. Give me all of your blocks and you better have more this time. I only have one dirt block. I didn't have time today. But sure, you can have it. Hopefully it helps you guys build more 2D civilizations. Only one dirt block? I'm gonna have to punish you. That was way easier than I thought. He only took one hit to kill him. Now I need to find the hole and mine dirt blocks to get up to it. I don't really know what to do from here. Once I get up to the hole, I'm pretty much lost and I can't find that girl anywhere. She didn't really give me much instruction to do besides attack the guy. I ended up finding the hole and stacking my dirt blocks up to it. I've never been outside of these walls before in my entire life, so I'm really nervous. I really don't know what to do, but I think I'm going to have to jump. I don't have time to keep mining blocks to stack over to the edge, because people are going to be on the way soon. So, I'm just going to go for it and jump off the edge. Hopefully I live. What the heck is this place, and who are you? Welcome. You must have leveled up from the 2D civilization. Let's get you over to the 3D civilization right away. Yep, I definitely mined enough blocks to level up. I don't know who this guy is, but it seems like he doesn't know that I just escaped. And why were there so many other portals to different civilizations? This is so weird, I've never been able to walk around before. Welcome Pipsqueak. This is the 3D civilization. Every day I will collect blocks from you and your border will expand. Once your border gets to a thousand blocks, you will level up. Here we go, the same thing every day again, collecting blocks. Maybe they'll be nicer than they were in the 2D civilization. I hope your first day went good. It looks like you mined a lot of blocks. Give them to me and your border will be expanded by 20 blocks. Only 20 blocks? I've been mining for hours. Getting to a thousand blocks is going to take literal years. Yep, it sure will. Be ready tomorrow and have more blocks, please. The more blocks you give me, the more the border will expand. The next day I was just mining blocks like usual and I noticed this girl walking past. It looked like a guard and she was on the outside of the border. Hey stop, I have a question. What can I help you with? You gotta help me get out of here. I'll do anything. I have a diamond sword I can give you. I'm not even supposed to be talking to you. I could get in trouble. All I can say is find an enderman. No one's ever escaped this place before. As soon as you get past these walls, you only have a few minutes before you start taking damage. That actually makes sense. I saw the last guard use an ender pearl to get past the wall. It's been multiple nights and an enderman finally spawned. I have to be extremely careful because I have no armor. It's also going to take forever to kill the enderman because I also have no weapons. But after a few hours, I finally killed him and he ended up dropping an ender pearl. Now I just need to wait till daytime. 
I need to make sure that nobody's looking and that the guard isn't coming to collect blocks anytime soon. The guard just came and went and collected all my blocks, so now is the perfect opportunity. I've only seen the guard do this once, and I only have one ender pearl. It actually worked. That girl said I only have a few minutes, so I need to figure out what to do before I start taking damage. I should have planned better for this, and I have no idea what to do.